Hello, 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 everybody. Oh, welcome to my channel. I'm Liz and I'm on two journeys. First journey is to lose 150 pounds. Second journey and the reason for today's video is I'm on a journey to lose $150,000 in debt. Today I'm budgeting my paycheck. I just got home from work. It is payday and so I have not pre-rehearsed any of this. It is raw and real. So let's get into this and see if there's anything left over to send towards my car payment. All right, let's do this. Before we get into today's paycheck, actually, let's just take a look at last, well, at the last pay. My girls are over here fighting. Oh, Ryan. All right, let's take a look at the last two weeks before we get into today's pay and just see where we are at and let me. All right, let's take a look at the, at where we're at for the last two weeks. From 128, I, already moved my income over to the January column. Uh, today's pay is actually the first pay in February. So um, let's see, my car payment has already come out. That was with the last paycheck. I need to see if the payment for my uh, Perkins student loan has come out yet. That was due on the 10th. So you're going to see my spreadsheet on screen. I will not be showing you uh, all of my account information, <laughs> obviously, uh, or where I'm signing into my different accounts. So let's go into my checking account here and see if that $40 cleared. And yes, it did clear, so I'm gonna move that over to the February column and clear that out. And my $13 I know cleared from Canva, so I can move that over, which means everything from the last pay has been cleared and moved over. Let me go ahead and delete this column. There we go. Okay, so today is February 11th. It is the first pay for February. I can't believe we're already into, well into our uh, February here. The time is just flying by. Um, so let me just see here. 14.6125 is my pay. $400 going to mortgage and utility bills and the like. 261 is being withdrawn for that loan payment and that I can see is already taken out. I'm not going to move it. Let me just fill this in and then I'll move stuff over. I'll have $54 coming out for my union deal for my union dues in the first pay of the month. Today is the 11th and our next pay is the 25th. So anything between now and then that needs to get paid would be car payment at 386, my life insurance, that is an additional life insurance, and my car insurance is $70. I will also need to make a payment on my credit card. So I'm assuming that's gonna be somewhere like a hundred bucks maybe. Nothing is going to savings. Like I said, that savings would just accumulate and then go towards my car payment and the car insurance, well, not car insurance, but the car payment interest is more than the interest I make on that savings account. So it really doesn't make sense to transfer it into a savings account and let it sit there when I could just transfer it to the car loan and let my principal decrease the balance then with my income at 1461 my regular expenses at 1199 my spending is at $100 that's an estimate and nothing going to savings that leaves me with 162 okay what i forgot to do is see where my spending has been for the last two weeks. 
I do have $312.52 in expenses over the last two weeks. So let me break that down. I have $63.23 spent on fast food and groceries over the last two weeks. Those items I did put on my credit card to pay for, so I'm not going to include them on here because I do include that credit card payment. So if I include both the expense that I, what I spent, and then that credit card payment, it's like double dipping and it throws off my numbers. I do keep track of that in the mint.com app or mint.intuit.com, which maybe I'll just link below for anybody that wants to try it. Um, I'm not sponsored, it's free, so there's all that. I spent $22.52 on health stuff. I think that was mostly on cough drops and cough syrup. <sighs> I did go to the doctor twice, no, once, and got prescription, um, but I used a card that has shared expenses between my husband and I. So that doesn't affect my budget. Um, I spent $59.13 at Lowe's and that was for work related expenses because we are building uh, terrariums with my students to study earth spheres and do all kinds of data collection and experimentation and all the like. So that was $208, uh, yeah, $208.11. And then the other $167.64 was $80.82 for sourcing for my small reselling business and $47.57 plus $4.95 for my video editing software license online, and then $34.30 for reselling software. So that one sixty-seven, sixty-two, I'll be paying myself back. What happened is I was doing all my business expenses and everything using my personal credit card and checking account and all of that. But since then, uh, since these expenses, I've actually opened a separate checking and savings account that I can use for my small business. Obviously, I've already received my income, so I am going to move that over to February. And I did make this payment, so $400 for mortgage and utility bills. $261 has already been withdrawn, so I'll move that over. And the other items are not coming out for several more days. This payment on the credit card, let me just look at this. I've let the spending get a little out of hand, you know, trying to make things nice for my students at work mostly is where, well, and also the fast food. I did just make a payment, so I will make another payment of $100. All right, so we made that payment of $100. It has not come out of the count yet, so I am going to leave that in this column for right now and that means I have $638 in expenses so I have about let's see $385, $485 that I can put towards my car. The car payment the last two or three times I made a payment, all it did was take off future pay or reduced future payments instead of taking off the principal. I did call the bank and have that fixed and they said that um, for future payments, the any extra payments I make will come off the principal. However, that same day, I did make an extra payment and it looks like it did not come off the principal, but was applied to a future payment. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. And the, um, at the bank, they did say they set up my account. So that payment should be coming out on, I think the 17th. Now I can't remember what day it is. Let me just look. What day is my car payment? Yeah, the 17th. So let me 
I'm, I think I'm going to wait until the 17th, which is just next week. Yeah, a week away and see what happens with the car payment. If it takes out my car payment or if it applies it to um, or if it skips because right now it's saying I don't owe a car payment until April of 22. So we'll just wait until next week to see what happens with that. I'll do an update video next week with what is going on and if I make an extra payment and how much and all that jazz. So for right now, that is my budget. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for sticking around to this part of the video. Please let me know what your financial goals are down in the comments. I love hearing from all of you. And also, if you're new, you should know that I don't divide any of my leftover funds into sinking funds because I, one, I share finances with my husband. It's just how it works out for us. Always has. For right now, it always will. And two, the other reason is all my extra money goes towards debt because I got to get this debt paid off. And uh, I think that's it for today, actually. There's not a whole lot of money going around. I didn't get my extra stipend that I should have gotten. Actually, my extra stipend is backed up from December. So I'm working on that with payroll to see what happened and making sure I get every penny that I need. Um, it's just unfortunate that that extra money could be going towards my debt and uh, I haven't gotten it yet. So <sighs> I don't have a glass to say let's hydrate. Uh, so I'm going to head downstairs, get a drink, then I'm going to do some of my reselling business and um, I think I'm going to share some of that on this channel so that you guys can see how, I, how I'm making some of my side hustle money to pay off my debt. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!